Hello and welcome to the Xenos headquarters. I'm really delighted to introduce a longtime supporter of our organization, Tom Cassidy, who's a principal, a teacher, a trainer of teachers. His teacher training frameworks have been used by over 20,000 teachers all over the world, an internationally published author with books on problem solving translated in six different languages. And he's also going to be joining the Xenos organization as our chief learning officer. Our relationship started back in 2017, where Tom discovered Xenos reached out and it's been that way ever since. Tom, what first led you to discover and then reach out and use Zenotes? That's, um, that's a great question, how it all started really. So mm. we were looking for resources. I was heading up a sixth form program as principal of Cambridge Leadership College in Cambridge back in 2016. And I was looking for resources because I was fairly confident that the resources out there on the internet, so to speak, would be better than the textbook type resources we were given. And so I just did a little bit of searching and I stumbled across this type of note with a big Marco Zorro in it kind of thing <laughs> as a watermark. And I thought, wow, that's interesting. And I thought this is really well put together and really beautifully organized. And then I forgot about it for a few weeks, maybe a couple of months. And then I, as I started looking again, I saw that not only was it still there, but it had an increase of like over a million hits or something like that in, in, the, in, a, in just a few months, I thought I need to pay attention to this. And I, but so I was basically looking for notes really that I felt would be continuously updated rather than just knowing which textbook matches, which syllabus and everything. And this was for the Cambridge exams. So yeah, so that's how it all started. Yeah. And that use case among educators, both teachers and tutors has continued to grow within the organization. And we never realized, I didn't put too much focus on it, but we've had tens of thousands of teachers from all over the world, regularly using the platform and in many different use cases. So it's, it goes from using it, as you described as resources to augment their teaching capabilities, as well as actually handouts or lesson materials with, within their classrooms. And this has been a really important discovery for us because it also gives us a new and really important actor in the education space to serve, especially because of our mission of reducing education inequality. If we can start to empower and support the educators, especially those who are, may not necessarily be coming from the most off schools, it can really mean that we can yeah. transform and ensure every young person, every student has the opportunity and a level playing field. There's a lot of exciting ideas for us in the coming months to share and build out for educators. But what is your first immediate reaction? The fact that this all started with a student-led movement and it's the network effect that has been central to why Xenos has grown to the extent and has scaled up. What are the key things that you think would be important when we continue to develop for educators as well? I think that's the really interesting and important thing to remember, that Xenotes value is not necessarily, it really isn't the quality of the notes necessarily, which are very good. It's not the fact that they're the canon of everything that you need for these mm -hmm. particular examinations and at exactly the right level. And that's great, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that you've got this sort of like swarm of angry learning hornets, like just buzzing around the world, coming up with the latest ways to improve the, the resources themselves and the ability for students to do well in exams. And I think what's really exciting is as students have gone through the Zenote system and now some of them are working for organizations as teachers and some even working for examination bodies, we're starting to realize that perhaps the same kind of network effects that students used could be leveraged into the teacher community. And there's lots of specific things, but I think the fundamental would be, hmm, to what extent could we take that same energy and passion for reducing learning inequality and reduce it more directly by just getting teachers on board in the same way. It is incredibly exciting. One thing that, that I'm really keen to, to bring your incredible experience onto and almost build it into our platform as we develop it is your vast experience of training teachers. Mm -hmm. Now that seems slightly counterintuitive and sometimes comes across as presumptuous on the part of the trainer to go and tell the teacher what to do. What was it that you landed upon and were really good at doing as you were upskilling these teachers and supporting them in different contexts, both at yeah. secondary school, internationally, asynchronously? What was that secret sauce that you came across? I think I was lucky to stumble across something which was just really trying to make teachers do less work rather than more work. And I think mm. this sort of this idea I took into all the training that I did, which is, look, I remember being a teacher. I, I still am a teacher, I still teach. And I'd go along to lots of workshops and lots of training sessions and think, 
this is fantastic. This is really interesting. This is really good, but it all sounds like more work. Mm. And I'm already working really hard. I'm a teacher. You guys who are training, you've forgotten what it's like to be a teacher. It's incredibly busy. And so knowing that, coming with that frame of whatever I do has to sound like less work was really helpful. And I think that's the thing that caught on. It was just like, okay, this is not going to be any more work at all. You're going to have to do the same sorts of things that you'll do anyway, but just with some tips and tricks and some perspectives and some tools of focusing, it would make things go a lot more smoothly. And I guess the idea of focusing on just one thing at a time. So if you're trying to work on perhaps getting students to be more, to take more initiative and mm -hmm. to be more independent as learners. You can't also be doing that as well as focusing on getting them to think of more inquiry based and perhaps more collaborative and all these things all at the same time. So perhaps being really disciplined about just taking things in turn and focusing on one thing at a time, I think was very popular as well. Who knows, right? You never know which things that you do. I've come up with thousands of ideas in the past and you never really know in advance which ones are going to be popular a lot of it is just trial and error absolutely and that that aspect of iteration and actually being close to the educators is something we're definitely very keen to be building into the or into the new educator we already have had hundreds of teachers contribute their ideas and suggestions describe their use cases and be instrumental to the way we continue to design this portal. And even now we have these teachers who are continuously part of that co-design process. And we're really excited because I think at the end of the day, we cannot come into it with a bias to know exactly what challenges they face and how we think we can solve them. I think the final question or maybe idea that I really am keen to stress is the fact that in this current te kind of technological and ed tech kind of movement, we see a lot of focus on just the tech. We just think about everything being a tool and it, just trying to change it from an, from a I guess, an operational standpoint, something that just fixes the processes, something that's distinctively different to what we believe we're doing at Zenotes is the fact that this isn't just about giving you another tool. It's about actually augmenting your role and capabilities as an educator by connecting to a global network of educators. That is something vastly different to simply getting another learning platform or learning tool. Do you want to speak to that at all? Just describe yeah. why that augmentation is an important piece to what we were doing next. I think so. I mean, it when I was doing a lot of teacher training early on, it was all about spotting within school variation and actually saying, look, within this current level of practice between the best and the worst practice in all the different departments, there'll be wonderful things happening that are exactly right for these students. So you don't need to go elsewhere. You don't need to go to different countries. You don't need to go to get different techniques or anything like that. They're all already will be within this network of teachers in your own school, some brilliant things. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking that the same thing happens really or can happen with a community of teachers it's like already there'll be some really brilliant things within the network in the yeah. same way as Zeno students that there are already some experts in particular subjects who like like yourself Zubair in the early days put your understanding codified yeah. understanding into a format which was accessible to everybody else well there's some really tremendous practice happening right now as we speak in some schools around the world. And our job is really to pay attention to what's going on that's working really well and see if we can just disseminate that throughout the network and just provide, just facilitate the, the network capacity and the ability of a network to respond, to be adaptive, to be dynamic and not expect that anything that we say necessarily is going to be any good in itself, really. It's just actually, okay, we're coming to you for things that are working really well and we'll find a way to help you share these with other people. And um, sure. together, everybody wins doing it like that. It's, it, that's the power of C-Notes. It's like the collaboration, the working together, the being part of the network. And it's just like a natural extension for me to take that to the teacher level. Absolutely. Tom, it's really exciting to, to have you officially on board and we can't wait to see what we're going to be bringing out next. Yes. Watch this space. We're going to be getting our heads together over the next few months and we're very excited and I'm super happy. I'm very glad to join you officially now because obviously I've been working as a member of the board and just lending my tuppe of thought every so often and a little bit of experience, but to be a bit more hands-on is quite exciting for me. Looking forward to what we cook up together. Absolutely. Have a lovely day. Speak Cheers. Thank you. Take care.